came across a pretty cool website. <laughs> oh man. All right, I'm, I'm about to see how much of a female am I. So this is from the website, The Feminine Woman. So everything on this website is for women, uh, is directed towards women. I'm about to take this quiz that is titled, Am I Truly Living in My Feminine Energy? Now, it's a fact that everyone has a bit of masculinity and femininity in them. In them, uh, You know, it's just everybody has different levels. But this is strictly only towards women. So basically, it's to, it's to say, how much of a woman are you? <laughs> this quiz, so I'm going to take it. And I'm going to see, man, I'm kind of scared to take it. Ah, oh, man, but we'll see. The, the, it says, the quiz has been carefully designed to calculate how much you are living your feminine energy. <laughs> Why would this be important? Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I'm just going to take the quiz. I want to see it. I want to see it. Maybe if I'm too much, then, you know, something's got to happen. Take action. <laughs> All right. Question number one. Which of these comments make me feel the most alive? Oh my God, you're li you're looking amazing in that outfit. Um, not really. I don't need someone else to tell me that I look amazing to feel amazing. I bet you can't figure out. I bet you can't figure out fit. I bet you can't figure out fit two cheeseburgers in your mouth. That's a typo. Um, I don't know what that is. I bet you can't figure out fit two cheeseburgers in your mouth. I don't understand that. I guess they're saying I bet you can't fit two cheeseburgers in your mouth. Hey, that sounds like a challenge to me. I'm up for that. Uh, question three, how would you like to travel around the world? Uh, yeah, I guess that makes me feel alive. I'm not doing anything, though. And then number four, none of these. Uh, I got to go with cheeseburger. Click it on that one. Question two, in a high-pressure situation, my natural instinct is to eliminate distractions while tunnel, tunnel vision sets in. Uh, sometimes, yes, to increase my focus. Question two, create comfort, or not question, option two, create comfort by speaking to friends or eating something. That's not really like me. Or avoiding, avoid the situation. Or feel, I'm not going to avoid no situation. I'd say eliminate distractions. Number three, in the bedroom, I prefer someone who is bigger than me physically, smaller than me physically, same size as me physically, uh, smaller, duh. <laughs> if I'm in a supermarket and I can't find something, I politely ask the first shop assistant I spot. Nope, that's weak. That's weak stuff. <laughs> I, wa I walk up and, and down the aisles until I find it. Sounds like me. Or don't care, whatever is most convenient. Uh, no, I'm going to walk around that superstore or supermarket until I find what I'm looking for. I don't care how long it takes. I'm not asking anybody for help. <laughs> if I had a de the deadline for a project in a month, I tend to start now and get most of it done so I don't stress later. Pressure is good. I'd rather start closer to the deadline or plan out week by week what I, what I need to do. Man, this is hard because I actually do all three of them. It just depends on what class it is. Um, but I guess I'll start with pressure is good because most of the time I do procrastinate and wait until the deadline. So when I'm cooking, <laughs> whenever I do cook, I can also carry on a conversation over the phone. No, I've never done that in my life. Very easily. Nope, it's not easy. No chance. Yeah, no chance for me. <laughs> Never tried it. I don't think I can. Probably, I'll probably burn whatever I'm making. Which of the following describes the kind of in intimate partners you've had in the past? My partners have tended to assume they are right about everything. Yeah. <laughs> they tell me that's why we're not partners anymore. I'm just fine. Uh, they tell me that they think I always think I'm right about everything. No, no, not that one. Things tend to go smoothly with my past partners. Well, if they did, then I wouldn't be single. Um, I say it's a mix. It's honestly a mix. Man, it's hard. I say smoothly because I don't have any blood, bad blood with any of them. Uh, question eight. It would hurt me more if my intimate partner were to, were to say to me, you are looking tired and run down lately. You seem to be losing your drive and your direction. You really treat men differently than you treat women. I think it would hurt me for someone to say, you seem to be losing your drive and direction. Especially if I haven't noticed it myself, that's scary to me. So yeah, I choose that one. In my ultimate dream world, I would rather trust and follow my own direction, trust and follow my lover's direction, 
We should both follow our own unique directions. Hmm. This is actually a question I'm going to have to think about for a very long time. So I'm going to put, I don't actually know. Okay, those are all the questions. <laughs> Man. Wait, hold on. They're going to email me the results? Oh, wait, no, don't send me an email. I don't care about the email. Just give me the results. I have to put in the email. Crap. Okay, Lucas. <laughs> Let me just put Lucy. Lucy? <laughs> In my email. All right, give me my results. Come on. How much of a female am I? Please don't say 100%. <laughs> Congratulations, your score is below. Okay, what's my score? Bra. What's my score? It hasn't shown me my score. Hold on, let me check my email because they sent me the results of my email. Will not take long. I guess it is taking long. Man, so I guess we'll, we'll never know how much of a female am I. Hmm. 